What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today I'm playing my week 7 match of the Omnipoke Online Play League versus Shy from the Slowpoke Well. If you're not familiar with the Slowpoke Well, they are another great Pokemon TCG YouTube channel. Be sure to go check them out and give them a subscribe. And today I'm playing Luke Metal, Blounds, and Centiscorch VMAX as my three decks. Uh, the first person to win two games wins the match, and once you win with a deck, you can't play it again. So I could end up just using two out of three of my decks. Uh, but I've been tending to bring Luke Metal most weeks just because it's my favorite deck in standard. So I typically will bring Luke Metal usually. Uh, before we start, of course, shout out to PotownStore.com, my lovely sponsor and the best place for you to get PTCGO codes. Be sure to use code Celio for 5% off. I really appreciate all the support from you guys using that code because it does directly support my channel and the content that I create. Uh, we're just going to see if... Slowpoke well is ready to go. I believe his username starts with an M. Yeah, I think it's Mighty Groove. There we go. We'll just send it on over and see if he's ready to go. So we got Luke Metal, <laughs> Le Blown, but it's actually named that because it's just Lay Boys Bl uh, Blown's list, and then I also have Santa Scorch. Uh, but yeah, we're we're rocking with Luke Metal. It's a classic here. It's a Celio's Network classic deck. Mm, forgot to turn on my lights. Green screen's looking a little wonky in the background. One second. Completely professional here at. Celio's Network Emporium. One more light to turn on. Oh, there we go. That should look better. Just in time. Here is Shy ready to go. I I actually have never heard him say his first name, so it very well might be pronounced Shay. And if so, I am I'm sorry. I usually just refer to him as Slowpoke Well. Uh yeah, let's call heads. I won the flipperoo. I will go first. <laughs> uh, not, not the good start. Yeah, this is not a good start. Zosh inactive would have been fine. We got dolls that we can't start with. At least we have something to put on the bench. We're gonna find out what he is playing here. Cramorant starting. Ooh, that scares me. This could very well be Blounds. This could be the Blounds. Or it could be Scorch. Maybe it's Scorch. That would be better. I took out the weakness guard energies from my list because I feel like weakness guard energy is like useless a lot of times because like you typically will lose to blounds instead to scorch even with the weakness guard energies it definitely helps and makes it more winnable but um, I just have a little bit more of a consistent straightforward list going on today with Luke Metal <laughs> So the heat fire energy coming down so this looks like it's not going to be blown it is a uh, it is a fire deck though if it's a v max based fire deck at least we have that going for us with zamazenta v being on the board cape of toughness arth do they not have a lot going for them right here or are they playing down the hand before Crobat V? These are the questions we will find out the answers to momentarily. My hand is still absolute poo poo caca. Okay, here's the D. Getting rid of Marnie, Pokegear. The Cape of Toughness means it's not a VMAX deck, so this is going to be terrible for us. He knew I was going to leave with his Ashen deck. 
That son of a gun. Cape of toughness on the Volcanion as well. And research. Oh, well, he didn't even play. Oh, <laughs> so many heat fire energies down the drain. I think this is Torkoal. I think it's Torkoal with heat fire. And flare starter. Okay, he's got a really awkward first turn. Um, and if our hand wasn't absolute tell uh absolutely terrible then we might actually be able to do something yeah, but our my hand's pretty disastrous we're just going to switch into a, a doll and hope for the best <sighs> yeah doll and then trepid sword again there's a quick ball not going to do too much for us, though. We'll just switch into a doll here. We could quick ball for... We could quick ball for Luke Metal, but I'm not sure how good a Luke Metal is here. I should be scared of... Actually, with this, Volcanium won't one-shot me. So I can pretty safely attach here. We'll need a tool scrapper to get rid of the uh, Cape of Toughness if we want a one shot Cramorant. So although he does have the matchup advantage, uh, his deck is not performing the way he would like it to uh, as far as turn two where we're at now. My deck obviously isn't doing too hot, but uh, that's kind of just Luke Metal. Luke Metal just kind of sits back, attaches an energy, passes. He did have to get rid of three uh, heat fires though. And he's already getting low in the deck. There's the first Torkoal. We could potentially get to a point where we uh, we run them out of resources. There's Turbo Patch. Uh, and here's the boss, but Volcanium won't one-shot Zashin Due to uh, the beautiful brave and uh, the brave blade uh, metal goggles <laughs> Due to the brave blade Okay, so that's one boss down they don't have room for Eldegoss I Don't have a switch though. I was thinking eh, I could switch but no, I really can't I think we're gonna want another Zashin But it kind of sucks knocking out Volcanion with Brave Blade, but we kind of have to right because even if we like retreat Even if we retreat to a doll and they don't have boss, they'll just cram us We don't want that happening so we just, I think the best thing to do here is take a prize and we'll start setting up our next Zashin V. And we get a Chaotic Swell. Stamp Chaotic Swell is pretty good versus a Welder deck.
That is actually pretty good. What's nice about uh, Cape of Toughness, like if we don't hit the Tool Scrapper, I can still swing into it and then hit the Tool Scrapper later on. Here's Primate Wisdom. Yeah, he's not drawing very well. Uh, the thing is, he's using supporters every turn. He's attaching energies. There, see, there's a supporter right here. He's down two boss, though. That's really, really super for me. Um, he just had such an awkward start. His board state isn't ideal. Here's double turbo patch. Let's see if he gets one heads out of the two. There's one heads. Oh, triple turbo patch. That's all four of his turbo patches down now. Tails on that one. And spit shot to take the knockout. So we need to draw an energy off the top. So we promote uh, Lily's polka doll. We don't get an energy. Ugh, sad. We'll play the swell. We'll stamp them. And we probably just intrepid from here. We'll hold on to Luke Metal. Yeah, we'll just intrepid. We get an energy very nice. <laughs> There's Cape of Toughness on the Torkoal as well. Let's see if the Chaotic Swell did anything to mess them up. Um, that They were already down three Giant Hearth, so honestly, they might not even have the fourth Giant Hearth anyway. So we might have just bumped their last Stadium, even if this wasn't a Swell. Primate Wisdom. I would love to see them play like another Research here, and we might just be able to win by deck out. They're only down one welder, but they're down eight basic energy and three heat fire. They're probably playing like 10 and four or like 11 and three. Okay, here's attached to the Cramorant and welder. Okay, so they're going to swing 60 some, uh, 160 somewhere probably. No, they're not. I lie. They're gonna beat catch. Well, we have another stamp. Oh, a boss. A boss's order would be so good. Research. We cannot research this hand away. Definitely a no no. Okay, so yeah, so we definitely have to stamp them because they just used beat catch. Hit my mic there. Sorry, guys, about that. Sorry to headphone users. Um, This is a really interesting game. We could drop this in full metal wall. I think we just have to intrepid. Um, and it's best to hold this energy, I believe. Yeah, it's best to hold on to that energy. He's down a ton of resources, so I do have a 
bit of confidence or maybe not confidence but i do have a little bit of hope i think is the better word uh this is is this eldegoss for boss no it's another torkoal Maybe he doesn't play Eldegoss, maybe it's prize, thinning the deck, getting the third boss. Okay, so probably does not play an Eldegoss. Um, that's the third boss, so he can knock out this Zacian if he wants to. And Fire Crystal, so getting energy back. Here's the boss. The question is, does he play any more boss? That is really the question. I'm thinking the answer is no. Oh, he attached another energy. That's huge for me. Because he didn't, maybe he didn't set the top deck as a fire energy. Okay, so that's big. That's big. Four, eight, two in hand. I think this is the move. So he needs to have four fire energy left. He has to attach three and then set the top one with Guru. And I feel like he might not have that. That was the dream. Okay, he's setting the top deck now, so he definitely can't do it. So we definitely survived this turn. So I think I won because we'll just uh, stall him out with dolls. Yeah, because he set the top deck there, he can't knock me out this turn. And there he's on the one card. Let's go. Woo! That was probably the best game of the entire Omnipoke League so far that I've played. That was a hype game. Holy crap. All right, we'll take Lay Blown into the next one. That was super hype. Ooh, so knowing that he didn't have no, okay, assuming he did not play more bosses, I could have uh, I could have just sent out a doll, but I think removing four energy with full metal wall was the play. Alright, so he told me he wants to go first, so I would not like, let me just double check. Yeah, he said he'll go first, so I do not want to go first. We've got a bit of a banger of a hand here. Just a wee bit. Oh, crikey. You don't want to see that. All 
Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's just gonna scoop. Oh no, GG. And after such a close one too. <laughs> All right, so that was week seven. I think we're five and two now, so uh, standard format in all its glory gave us a win there uh, because Slowpoke well drew poorly in game two. Um, he had a really awkward start in game one, uh, but it was a super fan to, uh, favored matchup for him. He had the advantage there, so it was really nice to be able to record that game for the OPOP OP where I kind of had that super comeback with Luke Metal. Um, so yeah, GG's. Make sure you check out the Slowpoke Well and all the other great content creators involved in the Omnipoke Online Play League. If you are unfamiliar with the Omnipoke Online Play League, you're just tuning in this week. Omnipoke on YouTube has a bunch of information. I also had an announcement video about it a couple, about a month and a half, maybe two months ago back. Um, but basically, it's about 20 content creators and we're battling out every week. Um... To see who comes out on top at the end of all of this so stay tuned for next week check out everybody else including slowpoke well that's involved in this uh use code celio for five percent off at potownstore.com we got vivid voltage codes in stock over there and it directly supports my content subscribe to the channel if you're not already for daily pokemon tcg content leave a thumbs up and a comment down below to help support the channel and get my engagement up have a great day and i'll see you next time here on celio's network